Today we will talk about another smooth skin video effect for Adobe Premiere Pro. This is just part 2 of a series of video plugins that I will feature, so make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. The second plugin that I will be talking about is called Video Suite from a company called Imaginomic, the creators of yet another automatic face and skin retouching extension for Photoshop. We will talk about that on another video soon. The Video Suite consists of two effects portraiture for skin smoothing and healing, and real effects for skin toning and coloring. While real effects works independently from portraiture and could be used to produce separate effects, it is the ability to apply the two plugins in tandem on a refined joint or inverse mask that makes the video suite a truly powerful and remarkable video editing package. I'll put a link down on the video description if you want to check it out. Alright, so let's jump into Premiere Pro and let me show you what this plugin can do. Again. I've imported a single clip and grouped them together into two groups. One is for the before and after, and the other is a split screen for a side-by-side -side look. So let's go ahead and apply the effect by going to the effects panel, search for Imaginomic, and drag the portraiture effect to the clips. Then we render it. Now let's play it on full screen. This is the original clip. And this is with the Imaginomic Portraiture effect. And here is a side by side look. Let's play this again and pause the video. Okay, so what do you think? Did it do a good job or the effect looks fake and too obvious? Comment down below what you think. Now let's try to play around with the settings by going to effects controls panel right here. We scroll down to portraiture. Then let's decrease the smoothing amount to 30. Let's just leave the uniformity, threshold and portrait size to default. Then to double check our skin selection, we expand the mask selection right here, go to show mask, and select white. As you can see here, it not only selected the skin, but also the hair because they are similar in color. It's actually my first time to use this plugin, so I'm not sure how to exclude the hair from the selection. Anyways, this is not a tutorial, but kind of like an overview. I will post the official tutorial link in the video description if you want to watch it. Let's apply the same settings we did on this clip. Then we render the entire sequence. Let's play it in full screen. This is the before. After. And here it is side by side. Let's play that again. If you remember earlier, our selection was not perfect because we were not able to exclude the hair. But looking at this side by side, the hair does look a bit softer, but not by that much. So this is acceptable for me. Now let's try the effect on a different skin tone and see what it does. Again, we go to Effects Panel, and then apply the effect on the clips. And then we render it. Let's play it on full screen. This is the original clip, and this is with the smooth skin effect. And this is a side-by-side -side look. It looks pretty good, right? Now I will go ahead and change some settings here in Effects Controls Panel. I'll set the mask to white so we can see the skin selection. Set the portrait size to large. And then click Calculate Mask. Then we can turn off the white mask. 
and I will apply the same changes we did on the previous clip to this one. Then we render it again before we preview. And this is how it looks. This is the before. And this is after. And here it is side by side. Let's play that again. In my opinion, it did a pretty good job smoothing the face and blending the skin tones. Now let's try the effect in a more challenging video clip. We have a footage here of a happy grandmother. Let's try to see what the effect will do to this clip. Again, we apply the smooth skin effect on the clips and then render it. Note that this is all in default settings. Let's play it. This is the original clip. And this is with the effect. And a side-by-side -side look. Let's play that again. Now I will let you be the judge here if this is something that you like or not. Comment your thoughts down below. Let's try it on another clip, shall we? I will go ahead and fast forward this step to the comparison scene. Before After And a side-by-side -side look. Let's play that again. This is still on default settings. Now there's another section here in effects controls called enhancements, where you can precisely adjust the exposure and colors of the clip. Here you can adjust the warmth, tint, brightness, and contrast. Personally, I wouldn't touch this unless I need to color match it with another clip. And for our last example, we have two people in the clip. Let's see what the effect does to this. Again, we apply the smooth skin effect and render it. And let's play it on full screen. This is the original clip. And this is with the effect. And here it is side by side. Let's play that again. So it looks like it was able to apply the effect on both faces, which is quite impressive, don't you think? It was smart enough to detect both faces and apply the skin smoothing effect. So this is the Imaginomic Video Suite plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. I am really liking this plugin a lot. It's smart, simple to use, and it applies the effect straight away and it even looks good on its default settings. You can actually try this plugin for free. Just go to their website, put your email, and download it. If you haven't seen the first video where I feature the Beauty Box plugin, I'll put the link on the video description. And stay tuned for my next video where I will talk about the Magic Bullet Cosmo 2, which is the third and last smooth skin video effect on this series. Then I will compare the three plugins to see which one is the best, so make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and enable notifications. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below. I'll be seeing you on my next video. Thank you for watching.